Hi guys, this is Elaine. Thanks for visiting my channel. I am back with another huge craft thrift uh, craft haul. And a lot of it is the lace and trim, which uh, if you guys visit my channel, you know that uh, I'm always on the lookout for a lot of lace for my junk journals. So, uh, thanks for everybody that likes and subscribes. I really appreciate it. So, let's get started. So, we have some burlap here, which is 20 inches by 27 that I got for 50 cents. And two rolls of uh, lace that were 50 cents each some flat lace I think both of them are the same yes so you have some flat lace here some uh, lilac lace trim trim here kind of an orange light orange trim we have some polka dots on a pink background we have some gold Christmas trim so I usually visit the thrift shops uh, at least once a week we have about five of them in our town and the prices are pretty reasonable and some th days there's a certain thrift shop that has specials so some of the trim I got was a uh, half off so this is a collection of a couple of thrift stores I usually wait until I got a reasonable size haul before I uh, make a video We have some jewelry here. That could go on a vintage journal. You can always hot glue some little pearls around that and put it on the cover. And if you guys stay to the end of this video, I'm going to show you a um, preview of some covers of the two books that I'm working on and some light pink trim kind of wine tr colored trim and uh, we have some lilac trim here some off-white I can't think of, oh, peach, that's the color. I was trying to think of the name of this trim. Peach colored trim here. Some paper rope. It's kind of a light blue. Some of the color has faded off of it, but uh, you can always uh, modge podge this trim, this rope trim, and, and use it to make uh, trees on your covers. Or when you're doing mixed media lace some um, green trim here some more purple lots of that purple be good for my uh, lilac journals lilac in the garden digital that I have and I've made a couple of journals out of them. I think actually there's a couple more still in my shop that haven't been sold and some um, lilac and purple colored flowers that'll be good for the next cover dark blue black and dark blue thin trim here have kind of a rust colored trim here rope looking trim some more jewelry components you can use. 
you have some uh, stick pins that I can use to stick in uh, those big rolls of um, lace like this I got this for eight dollars you can see that here it's flat lace it's gonna last quite a while so I use a lot of lace on my journals on the edge of my journals let me show you a page show you how I use them okay so here's a signature here and I usually put lace on the edge of my every couple of pages in my signatures here sometime I put some at the bottom and sometime I use them as uh, a tux belly band lace belly bands so so look at the lace and how I use it on my journals so this is one of the signatures that's going to be in one of my uh, journals that I'm going to be putting in my shop in a couple of weeks African American themed of some women that changed the world okay so let's get back to the hall and we have some flowers here and this bag was a uh, dollar lots of flowers and uh, feathers and since most of these flowers aren't flat I use them on the front of my covers depending on you know the theme because if it's a blue themed journal I'll use blue or it's just a, if it's a vintage vintage I'll use off-white so it kind of depends on what journal I'm making at the moment some more light green trim here flat trim and this is a little bag of craft items it was a dollar so here we've got some different jewelry pieces some odds and ends that you can use ball cap buttons feathers okay so let's get the rest of the lace bag was a dollar we have quite a bit of rope in here some light rope tan we have some uh, lace here that could be cut apart we can use them in sections some more of this rope lace They can be used on journals and lots of uh, and I usually use this a lot to frame uh, pictures that I usually put on the front of my covers purple flat lace white seam binding more seam binding not going to take all of those out okay here's some two inch lace that I'll use on my uh, vintage journals or 
wedding journals. See how some pink. Very seldom get pink lace. Gets a, I get a lot of white and tan, but it's very seldom that I get some pink lace. Pink seam binding. Yellow and brown. And these are small, but you can open them up, flatten them out, and, and they could all you could always use this for uh, uh, journal covers to, to wrap around the journals. Or you can uh, use it for ruffles. You can make some ruffles. Put on the end of your pages. Some more rope trim. Black lace, scallop lace. And these, this would make a good frame around a picture, vintage picture, on the cover. Some more seam binding, trim. Some more lace. Green lace seam binding and seam binding is good for ruffles too to put on your edge of your pages once you flatten them out some more seam binding peach seam binding large piece some more black lace This has got some satin lace in here, some jewelry on it, jewelry squares. And some blue bias tape. Large four inch like it might be a little more than four inch yeah five inch lace gathered at the bottom off white we have some tan gathered lace Flat lace here, off tan, off white. Good lace for um, putting on the edge of your pages. Some nice lace here for a wedding journal. Some more lace. I love this lace. You can always cut it off into different sections and use it piece by piece. It'll last longer. This lace, this little card was 50 cents. Some flat lace, if I can get it. There we go. Show you how that looks up against this card. Some more peach lace, eyelet lace. Some more ruffled lace here and this I think came off of a wedding gown and I think they put the buttons in with it
sleeves of a wedding gown. You can cut these appliques off into different sections. A little flower that you can use there. Some more pieces. And they put in the uh, buttons that you could use, pearl buttons. Okay, and I got this big roll of lace that came off the uh, cardboard uh, wraparound deal. Little flowers. And you can cut these off and use them as little individual flowers. Put a little flat back pearl in the middle. We have some dark blue burlap. That I got for a dollar. And here we have some uh, pictures of some owls, some sections of some owls.